Okay, so I took a trip to Home Depot, and what I originally thought was that I was gonna was gonna have a shelf that ran across the top of this, and then that the inverter was gonna sit up. Uh, but you know, when I was looking, if you look down here, what I found was this piece, and this is for uh, like a pegboard. But what it'll do is it'll give me a false bottom, has holes in it. These holes are going to allow me to mount the inverter and then any of the other uh, hardware that I've got. I've got fuse, I've got the big fuse block I've got to mount uh, and some other stuff. For the, uh, for the 110, for the AC, uh, got some stuff, some heavy duty pieces. Um, I'm going to have to cut a hole in my box and I'll mount that. What else did I get? I got this nice bell piece. Let's see then what I'm going to do. And then the, the 110 outlet on the side of this, it'll come out of the inverter. Do that. And then it'll be right here on the side. And then what I'm thinking is... Uh, the 12 volt stuff that I'm going to run, I'm going to mount right here on the front. I'm going to have a little board. It's going to tell me what the voltage is for the uh, for the battery, a little battery voltmeter. It'll have uh, 12 volt and then two USB plugs. I could also mount uh, the plug where I'll be plugging the uh, the solar panel into this, and it'll go through to the battery leads. Um, but this is, uh, this is pretty much what you, what you see here. Then it'll, and then I was thinking even with these rails on the top of the Husky that maybe I could get something, an expandable track that comes out on the, on the top of this. And then the wide track of the solar panel will fit right on top of the Husky case. Although the way I've got it set up, that's doesn't necessarily have to be that way. So, so this is just kind of some of the brainstorming uh, that we're doing for the uh, for the solar generator build.